The F-35 is billed as the most advanced stealth fighter in the world. One of the jets was proving a little too stealthy. Ain't nothing changed, nothing new here to see. This ain't nothing but some political maneuvering. America! Welcome to the eulogy, eat it up. It's called political buffoonery. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Dumbocracy, where we showcase some of the dumbest newsmakers of the week. If you're anything like me, you might lose things every now and then. I, I know that I've lost my keys many times. Uh, most days I can't find my wallet or what pants I left them in or whatever like that. Sometimes I even lose my glasses and they're right on top of my head. But one thing I've never done is lost an F-35. Well, the government did that this weekend. And luckily, they just found it. We're going to get into that story, but before we do, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and by the way, if you like what you see here, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, share the show with your friends, leave some comments below if, it, if the mood strikes you. Let's get into the story about what happened to this F-35 jet. For more than 24 hours, there was no sign of a missing F-35 military fighter jet. Now, debris from the, that, that missing jet has been found, but the military is still trying to understand what caused the aircraft to crash and why it took so long to find the wreckage. ABC's Justin Finch details the investigation from Washington. In South Carolina, a military mystery. Investigators converging at a debris site with burn areas and down trees that is presumed connected to the crash of that missing F-35 fighter jet. That jet among the most sophisticated on Earth with a $100 million plus price tag was undetected for more than 24 hours. Officials say that F-35 vanished Sunday afternoon. The pilot safely ejecting near Joint Base Charleston after reports of an undisclosed mishap in the Okay, so let's just be thankful that nothing happened to the pilot of this jet. Whew, that's dodging a bullet right there. The cockpit, the debris located in Williamsburg County, about two hours northeast. A military spokesman reporting that the pilot was in stable condition after being rushed to a medical center. But there was no sign of that jet itself, prompting the base to post this on social media urging if you have any information that may help our recovery teams locate the F-35, please call the Base Defense Operations Center. So I guess milk cartons weren't available, huh? That's got to be embarrassing for whoever had to put that up. My goodness. I'm sure there were a bunch of people with binoculars out there going, nope, don't see it yet. Man, that, that's... I hope that people mock that online. Charleston area Congresswoman Nancy Mace posting on X, how in the hell do you lose an F-35? We knew the F-35 was stealth, but this is ridiculous. Ha! Got him! That's the kind of mockery I want to see. Thank you very much, Congresswoman Mace. The Marines acting commander has now called for a two-day safety stand-down to review aviation safety and best practices, noting three Class A aviation mishaps in just the last six weeks. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Wow, I didn't know that. Three mishaps in six weeks? We'll figure out what that Class A is as well, but I want to know more about the F-35. Could this be a hardware defect, a software defect, a design defect? Something else, a, a bug, a glitch, I don't know. But while, while it's funny that, you know, Joint Base Charleston had to put out a tweet to get people to start looking for their missing jet, this is a serious thing. Thank goodness, like I said, that the pilot's okay. But let's delve a little deeper into the F-35. What happened here? Authorities are now investigating the mishap. The F-35, which can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, has a troubled history, design flaws, technical problems, and cost overruns. The Project on Government Oversight reports the price tag of a single Marine F-35 is nearly $136 million. Wow, that is a hefty price tag. It's definitely not losing a set of keys. I mean, listen, it's cool to see it hover and land and take off like that. that that's, that's badass right there. But $135 million per jet? And we just lose it and have no way to find it? 
The video alludes to a spotty history within the production of the F-35. I want to know more about that as well. Like what you see so far? Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, leave us a comment and tell us what you're thinking. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another show. So this is a story about the F-35 from the week that was published in February. Let's see what it tells us about this problematic aircraft. So according to the article, the F-35 was billed as a fighter jet that could do almost anything that the U.S. military desired. Already sounds too good to be true. The plane was designed for the Air Force, Marines, and Navy, as well as international clients like Britain, Italy, Norway, and Canada. It was once labeled the Free World's Fighter Jet. I'm getting a lot of puffery here in this piece, but not a lot of substance so far. But let's keep going. It was expected to replace F-16s and the Marine Harrier jets. It was expected to be stealthy, and it was supposed to be cost-effective. Well, at 130 plus million per jet, I think they missed the mark there. So what were the problems? So it looks like the project started in around 2001 with a plan for squadrons of planes at a relatively paltry cost of $233 billion. Well, all righty then. But a decade later, the plans were at least seven years behind schedule and plagued by a risky development strategy, shoddy management, laissez-faire oversight, countless design flaws, and skyrocketing costs. Three years after the project costs had doubled from its original estimates, and media reported that John McCain, the late senator, decried the plane's development as a scandal and a tragedy with respects to cost, schedule, and performance. Wow. So that is that does not sound good at all. So what were the problems? Let's see. Problems with its stealth coating, sustaining supersonic flight, helmet-mounted display, excessive vibration from its cannon, and even vulnerability to being hit by lightning. There have even been troubles building a simulator for pilot training. Good God. And this is in, this is in use now? Craziness. In February 2022, The Drive reports 36 of the fleet of about 450 F-35s, or about 8%, were unable to fly because they had no working engine. What the hell is going on here? No wonder it's flying on its own. You know, I'm reminded of George Carlin, the famed comedian, and his discussion of oxymorons, like, you know, driving on a parkway, parking in a driveway. And one of my favorite ones from that was military intelligence. The history of the F-35 is more than spotty. It's pretty darn bad. And for this mishap to happen, and no explanation of it thus far, I'm sure they'll get around to it sooner or later because, you know, the military is so open about these things. It leads me to believe that we got problems with this premier jet of, of freedom or whatever they called it in that article. The premier freedom fighter jet. Wow. It, it's unbelievable. The history of this and the present of it and it endangered a serviceman. I mean, I don't know what happened. Hardware defect, software defect, pilot error design defect, whatever, but it's cost us billion, hundreds of billions of dollars. I can't believe, I can't even conceive of that amount of money. What if this jet would have crashed into a community or infrastructure like a highway system or something with, with uh, cars in rush hour or created an environmental disaster? And more importantly, what if this would have happened in combat somewhere and our military is endangered by our own weaponry? I don't know about you guys, but what started out as a funny haha -ha story has me really, really concerned. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and be sure to like, share the show with your friends, all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you want to keep seeing stories like this or any other stories involving shenanigans and buffoonery that's going on this week in Dumb Democracy. and opinions expressed here are not necessarily of the mainstream media and may offend some listeners. It's called political buffoonery.